Women who have been given the choice to change the world. But how can we change the world when here in the very axis of critical consciousness for young black men and women, we have not been able to achieve social change? Make no mistake, Spelman women have always been involved in activism regarding social justice against misogyny. In 2004, rapper Nelly was proposed to come to campus to perform. However, he canceled after hearing that students planned to protest because of his tip drill video. In fall of 2012, students in the Social Justice Fellows Program created a petition against misogynistic lyrics at Market Friday. Recently, students created another petition against the lyrics in Rick Ross's song, You Ain't Even Know It, which vividly describes the date rape of a young woman. Though we are covering surface issues, such as lyrics in a rap song, how much are we, as Spelman women, and how much should we get invested in combating misogyny? Moreover, how can we extend our discussion of misogyny beyond these pearly gates? One third of women will be sexually harassed in her lifetime. We, educated, intelligent black women, understand the culture of misogyny. Recently, the Spelman Student Government Association was targeted in a letter from the Violence Against Women Brigade. The letter claims that they have decided to discontinue their discussions with the SSGA and that they do not want to work with anyone who does not understand the implications of demeaning music on our campus. Why are we ostracizing and attacking our Spelman sisters when we can simply work to educate the esteemed men of Morehouse on a misogyny? It is more important to prevent instances of sexual harassment than it is to combat lyrics that have weight, but do not have nearly as much of a direct impact on Spelman students as the actual sexual crimes occurring in our community. Where are the petitions against Morehouse men who date rape Spelman women at parties? Where is the support for actual victims of sexual harassment who are being neglected in favor of high publicity, attention-seeking, generalized campaigns on Spelman's campus against misogyny? These awareness campaigns often serve as nothing more than a fashion statement. Recently, at Morehouse College, three basketball players were charged with rape. In an unrelated incident, another Morehouse student was charged with sodomy allegations. Are Spelman women content with men who claim that Morehouse niggas didn't rape that girl because girls in the AUC give out ass like swipes to the calf? or that they don't really believe in rape culture at all when four of their students have recently been charged with rape allegations. President Wilson of Morehouse College has recently declared that he is very hurt by the rape allegations. However, his students seem to be more concerned with how the incident is affecting the image of the institution and of the Morehouse man. Spelman women must encourage Morehouse to implement sexual harassment education programs so that men of Morehouse who comprise rape culture can be educated. Our consciousness about misogynistic issues is being limited when we focus on how misogyny affects young women rather than understanding the social and political processes that create misogynistic values in young men. Spelman women should not only be involved with activism regarding misogyny, but we should also become activists with every part of our being. In changing the world, we must first become invested with developing the consciousness of the black female and male minds. 
we, Spelman women, are not asking for rape or sexual harassment to occur. However, we are also not asking for the men of Morehouse to stand up and educate themselves on misogyny. You don't need no. You don't need no.